Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a little more about Read Fast here. So all um, I wanted to show you was how to join my groups and a few things about getting stuff to read and then also how to take notes on what you've read. So the first thing is um, I made a group dependent on whether you're in sixth grade or eighth grade. So to find that group, you can just search for me once you log in up on find users um, and then you can ask to join my groups. Um, my groups are Hogan's Heroes 6th grade and Hogan's Heroes 8th grade. You can ask to join that group and I will add you to that group. Um, you can also um, add me as a friend. If you click on friends, um, why not make some new ones? And then you can search for me here and add me as a friend. And then you can see my groups that way as well. So one thing about groups is um, that once you join my group, if you click on groups, you'll see that you're in that group. So let's say you're in sixth grade. Um, right now there's no articles, but I can add articles here that I would want you maybe to read that I would think would be interesting. So you could go here to find articles. You also can read an article. And if you really like an article, let's go and try to find some articles. Go back to the home page. Let's say I'm going to read this article. And if I really want this article to be um, in a group, I can click on share article and I can share and I've shared it with my groups. Now, if you wanna specifically share one too, um, I'll moderate them. So you can't just add any article, but I really love if you add some added some articles to our groups. And then you can even compete with your friends to see who read the article faster. So that's pretty fun. So another thing about um, how to do read fast here is whenever you do read fast, I do need you to kind of keep notes about what you've read because the site doesn't send me any information. So in Schoology, I have linked um, a read fast note sheet here and let's go over the note sheet. So here's the note sheet that I've linked in uh, Schoology. That's called Read Fast Note Sheet. Every time you read um, in Read Fast, you're going to need to fill this out. So this is the doc that you'll need to make a copy of. You can see you'll need to fill in your name, um, what week it is. So you could say like week of July 15th, if that was the week. Um, and then I need you to fill out the form below. So um, for each article that you read, because you might read more than one, depending on how long they are, um, you're going to put first the date that you are working on ReadFast, and then the link to the actual article that you imported into ReadFast. You're going to put the speed that you read the article at. That is in ReadFast as well. You can screenshot that. You can see here that right when I finished an article, it popped up this little screen right here. It said, you just read 144 words at 440 words per minute and gave me some, um, some other badges. So this is what you could screenshot. Um, to screenshot on a Chromebook, you um, just press control and then the button in the top middle that's the square with uh, two little lines by it. And then you can copy that to your keyboard. So I'm gonna do that going to click copy to clipboard then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click paste and now that article or that screenshot is in there as well. So um, if you have this screenshot in there that also says how long it took you to read the article that's fine as well. Now another thing if you forgot to take a screenshot of that if you forgot to take a screenshot of that, you can click on your feed and it will have that right there where it tells me the same amount of information. Um, and it has it also right here. Um, you last read my words per minute, my words read and the time. So it has that there as well. So that's what I need you to put a screenshot of in your note sheet here. So if you have the correct thing in three, you really don't need it in four. Um, and then you're going to need to fill out these sentence starters here in um, question number five about the specific article that you read, just so I know um, more about what you read because I'm interested in it as well. Um, if you do read more than one article, because depending on how long it takes you to read, um, your rotation might not be over. 
So you might need a second article. So I put that there as well. And then when you are done, you can just turn this into me um, by sharing it with me or turning it in on Schoology. So that is how you are going to be doing um, your note sheet for when you do read fast. Now, the next thing is you might say that you really don't know what else you can read um, besides just the news or the feed um, on read fast or what I've put in my group. Um, this is also um, in your resources in Schoology, text sources to explore. I have nonfiction resources here as well as fiction resources. I probably, I recommend doing the nonfiction resources, but you could, um, cause they're easier to do in one sitting. Otherwise the fiction resources take a little longer, but these are here as well. And all you have to do to get those into your read fast is click on the bookmarklet, just like anything else. And um, it will go into read fast. Now remember, we only want you to be spending max about five minutes trying to find something to read. And if you're super smart, you'll save a lot of stuff. So, um, in your read fast so that you have something already prepared to read. So please don't forget um, to ask me questions if you have any questions at all. And that is how we do our read fast rotation. Um, I'm really excited to help you read faster.